Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as was strongly requested, is going to be my updated hair styling and hair care routine. So I'm going to show you guys how I go from this hair to this. It's pretty much gonna be the same thing that I usually do, except that I have switched up my tools. This video is not sponsored, by the way, by anybody, so for those of you who go on thinking it is, it's not. Basically, my hair is kind of a little bit longer than a lob at this point. It's in that weird little mid mullet phase, and forever I was using my Numi wand. And the thing that kind of sucks and I would get frustrated with when using a wand is whenever you do a curl, I found that my hair would still do that curl under, and I'd have to go in with a straightener after. So I was actually watching the Rosie Huntington Whiteley video she did with Jen Atkin a few weeks ago where they were using a clip wand which I've actually had this for a while I just never used it because the wand is so quick and easy but I watched her hair tutorial and I was like I am learning how to do this with a wand and I've actually been finding that I love the curls so much more and what's nice is at the end you can like curl the hair down so that it doesn't do that flip out thing anymore so I'm kind of going to show you my updated version of that I've got the hair curling iron on and ready to go this is the t3 I don't know Know what it's called but it's their curling iron I'm using the medium sized one I'll link it in the description box down below I think their curling iron is fantastic I use the Dyson hair dryer to dry my hair and I'll kind of quickly talk you guys through what I use this is my hair just blow dried I have really naturally straight hair if you guys wanted to see my full hair care routine I might feature that a little bit later but when I get out of the shower the first thing I do is I put this Orbe super shine light moisturizing cream this is what my hairstylist Armine uses in my hair at her salon I actually bought this from her salon I think she uses the heavier version, but I use the light moisturizing cream I put a little dollop of that through my ends and then I blow dry my hair and this is what we're left with So I'm just gonna give my hair a quick brush through this is the wet brush Which I'd never used before I always used the tangle teaser Which was the worst thing and it would always tug at my hair and then Danielle actually at Fall Haber Communications Hello, Danielle. She gave me this brush and was like use the wet brush It'll change your life and she wasn't kidding it actually changed my life I've never had such an easier time brushing my hair, especially those of you who dye hair blonde you know how kind of like frail and brassy and naughty it can get it's just the worst and this just brushes right through it without anything it's actually so good I hate that it's this like bright lime green color I wish it was all black it's fine we'll see past it anyway I'm just gonna brush my hair I've parted my hair down the middle and what I like to do is I section my hair into two big sections and then I cut each of these sections in half just for easier use and then I have these hair clips this says Ricky care I just bought these random um I don't know what they're called claw clips tooth clips I don't know I bought it at a random beauty supply store when I was in New York or LA once America has those amazing like giant selling everything beauty stores and they're so good they have tons of hair stuff and anyway I bought clips there so I just like to clip these two sections up sip my red bull <laughs> give it a last brush and let us begin so I'm really bad at explaining hair I apologize in advance hopefully you guys will be able to see what I mean more so by visual sense than what I'm saying so I start off with little sections I just grab little sections at your discretion I feel like with iron like this it's easier to use bigger sections but I like to basically take these sections clip it into the hair and I kind of go all the way almost to the end pull my hair out and then I'll slowly twist it in let it sit for just a sec and then as you unravel it you kind of unravel the curling iron itself and then the end of the hair stays in here and I find that it just presses it down I don't really know how to explain that other than to show you guys so I'll do one where the iron is facing away and then one where the iron is facing towards me so I'm gonna curl this in towards me curl it up to the top and then when I pull the iron out, I keep it clipped at the end and it just kind of straightens the hair down, which is avoiding that. And I just keep repeating that throughout the entire head. When I get to the piece that's closest to my face, I always like to curl this one inward. I prefer the look of that once the entire hair is done. I feel like it brings a little bit more volume into the center of the face than if I were to face it away. So once that's done, tuzzle it out with any of these remaining pieces. I just like to take the curling iron and curl them under. So that they don't flap out at me as much. And then we're just going to go and repeat all those motions on the other side.
Okay, so now that the bottom is finished, I'm basically going to go into the top hairs and repeat the exact same steps. I remove the clip, just brush through my hair, and the one thing I always like to do is the further most back piece, I like to brush it straight back to avoid any kind of weird separation in the back, and I do this one kind of just like facing completely backwards. I'm not focusing on any side on this one. That really doesn't make any sense. I'm probably lying to you. Who knows? So I'm just kind of twisting it and releasing it as I go. And then drag it down. thing I like about this, it'll look different once we add the finishing sprays and whatnot, but it's just a little bit more flat and looks a little bit more naturally beachy than the curls do. I really love this finish, so this is the one side. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other side. So then this is the finished hair without any product in. Again, it's just more of those kind of flat pieces instead of big bouncy curls. And so once this is finished, I always love to take a little bit of dry shampoo just in the front bits of my hair just to make sure it doesn't get too oily throughout the day. I'm loving this Voir She's Like the Wind dry shampoo. It's super cool. Love their packaging. And it actually sprays out like dust. So I just take a little bit and dust that at the front ends of my hair. Just making sure that this area doesn't get too oily. This is really where I like to touch my hair throughout the day. I'm constantly fidgeting with those front ends. So I like to spray a little bit of dry shampoo in there. Then I go in with my texturizing spray. The one I'm loving at the moment is this IGK Beach Club texture spray. I just have the travel size of this because WestJet Cargo threw out all my large size aerosol cans. <laughs> Love you, WestJet. <laughs> so then what I like to do is pick up my hair and I kind of spray the product in as I drop it. I feel like that just helps to separate the hair a lot more, give it a lot more volume and floof. It just adds in so much texture, it's such a good spray. I also love their packaging. It's so pretty. And then just to make sure that my ends aren't looking very strawy and frayed, I like to go in with a split end kind of cream or serum. Again, this is the one that Armine uses on my hair at the salon, so I purchased it from her. This is the Orbe Split End Seal. I love this little packaging, and it kind of dispenses out perfectly like what you need for one use. It's so good. I love the Orbe hair products. So I like to rub that in just at the ends. And I feel like it gives it a very complete look. Do you know what I mean? Like it adds this nice creaminess to the hair after it's done. And I like to add this after the texturizing spray because then it doesn't look as dusty and dry. And if my hair is feeling exceptionally dry, I like to go in over top of this with an oil. This is the Voir Walk in the Sun oil. Again, their packaging is absolutely beautiful. I just take a little pump of this and I'll rub it between my fingers and just kind of go over the ends. I'll run a little bit just in the top of the hair to try and tame some of the frizz. I have really bad frizz, always. And I'll kind of just run it through the front ends of my hair as well. And I'm just constantly shaking my hair, constantly re-adding that volume in. And the oil in the serum I find just helps to make it look less messy and like more intentional, you know? So that's it, you guys. That is my kind of updated hair styling, toes old waves, hair routine. This takes me about 10 minutes on a good day if I'm feeling really speedy. I absolutely love how these curls are turning out. I found such a difference switching to a, I don't know what these are called, a clip iron? I'm not a hairstylist, what can I say? This is just what has been working for me. I prefer this over the wand technique. I prefer the finish and the look of it. I'm loving my hair a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna keep growing it for a bit and see how it goes. But if you guys have any hairstyling tips, definitely let me know in the comments down below any of your favorite products to use. This is just what I'm loving and using now. And if you guys wanna see any other kind of hairstyles, I am not your girl, because this is all I do with my hair. <laughs> <sighs>
that's gonna be it for this video you guys i hope it was helpful thank you as always so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye